Hello everyone and welcome back to another J-Rock Lone Care and Gardening video. So here today what I'm going to be taking you through is my van setup. okay? So this is a working van, anyone that's in lawn care, gardening, that's thinking about getting a van and how to lay it out and how to set it up, keep watching this video. Please just, as a beginner, smash that like button, hit subscribe if you can. We're now just over that 1000 subscriber mark, so thank you very much for watching. So here we go, if you're interested and you're just a hobbyist, I'm just going to show you around. If you're into lawn care, gardening, and you want to get started in the business, then also this is what you could be aiming for or trying to set up. Keep watching. All right then. So as you see now is how you would see my van through its normal sort of day-to-day -day running business. This is kind of everything that I would take out on the ground so for any sort of normal mowing client regular maintenance things like that this is the sort of stuff that will always sort of be with me from the off go of the morning and then from there i have got other things in storage this isn't all the items that i have in my business but this is everything that i would normally need anything else i would just sort of bring on as and when uh, it's basically required within the job and it'll just sort of fit in the space so come on let's take a closer look and so what i try and keep to in my business is or at least on my van layout, is I try and keep everything as tidy as possible and I try and make the most of basically every bit of space. Like when you see people convert like vans into campers, things like that, they use every bit of space under the bed, there's drawers and all the rest of it. So if it's a door, it's a wall. Uh, so what I've got on here is I've got my two helmets, both for the same use. Basically, I'll use my main one for any sort of work where I'll need it and I'll need the visor. Secondary is basically a backup. Past that, I've got a little hand spreader. I've got a big handy, um, anyone that follows me on social media, I've got a big handy spreader and that holds up to something like 35 kilogram, something mad, and it's just too big to sort of sit in the van at all times. So what I've got is just hooked up, is this little hand spreader, just evergreen um, spreader, and it's fair, fair enough. And if you've got small gardens and all the rest of it, then this is absolutely perfect. Underneath that, I've got my first aid kit. I always make sure I've got some form of um, safety, first aid stuff, wherever I go and whatever job I go on. So just in case anything happens, it's there, it's on the door, and I know exactly where it is. Right, next one, nothing too crazy at all. I've simply got a dumpy bag, just in case I need to hold waste. And I've also got a tarpaulin for any sort of hedge trimming jobs or anytime I just might need it for whatever reason. They're sort of just bungee corded in, um, so they stay nice and tight don't move about, don't take up loads of room. And down the bottom here, I have got my string line for the trimmer. That's an Oregon 2.4 mil. And Mike Day GM, he actually recommended that to us and it's brilliant for the price and for how good it is. It's absolutely fantastic. And that's just a single line. So that, I've still got all this room to use and I will do eventually, just not too sure what. As you can just see from the end here, I've got my ladders into the side and that's just bungee corded in. What you'll see is a lot of things are kind of bungee corded just because of the ease of it and it doesn't cost much money whatsoever. So I've got the ladders just bungee corded into the side and in this far corner I've got my BLI 940X. What is a pretty new bit of setup to myself. I got this second hand. I know it's a it's got the 950X what's so now out. But for me, got this second hand at a great price and now yeah, that just sits into the corner here. I don't need to worry about that. Up on the side shelves here. I've actually only just done this today. Um, so basically what I've done is I've got these little clips and what they are, there's two rubber ends and they're sort of spring loaded. And yeah, it obviously, as you can see, it holds the handles of things. So what I've done is I've put two across the bottom with the wolf garden pull running through. And then obviously it's a multi-tool so you can have different attachments. Hence my cultivator, her rake and my also scraper. What's absolutely brilliant, by the way, it takes up a lot less room having it like this. And you don't need to have five different of these handles hanging around. You can just kind of have the one. You can also get bigger rake heads and everything else. But this is the setup I've got so far. And like I say, I only put them in today. These little grommet things were only about £12 each, I think. They weren't too expensive. Um, but yeah, they're nice and tucked away. And again, they're tidy. You can see exactly what's there. And I can't complain. Above that, like you can see my attachment for my 325ILK. Well, I'll show you in a second. What's a combi unit, Husqvarna. Anyway, this is the edge of blade. So I put that up top 
to be honest it's a bit heavy if i was going to redo it again i'll probably have this down the bottom a lot light a lot easier to get off and then i'll have the lighter stuff at the top but honestly it's not too much of a pain as you can see over the top there i've got my non-drip non-spill uh fuel can normally it's used for chainsaws and use chain oil but this one is purely just used for unleaded fuel and i use that for my mowers so i can carry seven and a half liters there i've got my leaf grabbers in behind the liars that are just held in by the pressure same with a couple of spades and um, they're just held in just in case and my knee pad other than that i've got my mixing of fuels and my sprays remember this is just how i work it out and what i think's best so far and i'm ever changing it and every time i see a new idea or something else i try and implement it and i try and see if i can fit it in the van choose what's best for you for the job that you're doing for the type of work okay everyone is a little bit different so looking in above me then what you can see there is all my rakes so i've got a very long landscaping rake at the bottom here this is kind of obviously held in with a bungee on this bottom end as you can see there it's just hooked through the teeth therefore just keeps it nice and firm in because what i was finding is if you've got it untucked like that every time you go over a bump you get that the whole time whereas if you tuck the bungee in it's a lot more tighter okay it doesn't bounce around half as much and it's also in down the side there what i've seen people do and what i'm gonna do with this is i'm actually gonna change that system because like i say when it comes loose it creates a heck of a noise that you can hear um while you're driving but i'm gonna get a bit of two by four and what you do is you screw in this bit of wood into this bottom layer here okay so it's not going to penetrate the top of the van so two by four will come down say about this far and then you put in piping so you know just like pvc white pipe plumber's pipe and um, that's going to go in there and they'll just slot straight through and i'm not gonna have to worry about them so next again what i've got is i've just basically extended this bottom box okay just so i can put whatever in so i've got some shares in there some gloves i've got a roll of um paracord as well as a roll of bungee just in case i ever need it i've also got a small hand axe there mainly for getting out stumps if some of them are a little bit stubborn but that's about it again like i say making most of space i've got also a little hand tool just hanging there as for this this is probably the best setup i have and it's what i wanted from the start and this is the probably the bit that you're looking at is the racking okay so i've got my 525 bx literally on the bottom here that's held in by both of these these hooks were from screw fix and literally if you search heavy duty hooks this is what will come up and they were actually relatively cheap i think they were somewhere around five pound each four pound each so they weren't too expensive at all and they are brilliant honestly none of them have showed any signs of weakening or anything else so yeah i've got my blur on the bottom i've got my strimmer on the midsection and i've got my trimmer up top okay these are pretty perfect where they are the reason why i've got the short reach here and not just the handheld is quite frankly if i go out on a job and all of a sudden need it i would rather have the extra height than only have the handheld with me so i normally take this but if i'm on an organized job i'll also just chuck a handheld in the back further on down literally just bungeed up i'll show you now i have my chainsaw and all that is is it's hooked on to um, the tie down point through the center here and i've just put in a little screw hook what is also fantastic just on this far side and that just stops that from going anywhere and again it's just making space of the shelf you could have other things in here nuts bolts whatever you want but this is what i choose to go for lower down i've got my wolf garden lopper and this is just basically it used to be in this box over there what i've just showed you but i decided i wanted flat against something and easy to get to so again it's off the floor it's not just hanging around bobbing about it's nice and firm in there and these are solid right then so now i'll just walk you around the van so the bit that's interesting here is some people load out from the side some people load from the rear and it really just depends what i found with it is going from the rear although sometimes even if you can stick out a cone people still park really far uh, close behind you and it can be a pain loading out like sort of your long mowers and stuff like that so i prefer the side where i can just park a few hundred mil off the curb and i don't need to worry about it quite frankly um, i can get out no bother so i'll show you that now so the side door the ramps that i use are from a company called titan something or other not affiliated or anything but they're really decent ramps and they just pull out like so 
just like that. So very quick, very easy. They weigh about, I think it's like between four and seven kilogram each. They're two meters each. So as you can imagine, you need quite a long pathway. Someone's parked them behind you. It just ruins your day. So inside then, this is what I've got. I've got my two mowers. What is my Weebang 19 inch on this side? What is a rear roller? Uh, I've got a review on that. Go check it out. Um, so the rear roller in there. And then I've got my little tiny whiny, little teeny whiny um, Husqvarna. That's a four wheeler. Um, and I've got that in there. Brilliant mower, fantastic, and it's a domestic range, and I just couldn't, I've got nothing to complain with it whatsoever. So I've got both of them in. The Husqvarna itself, that just kind of stays loose, it doesn't go anywhere. Because these ramps sit in behind, it means that they don't roll anywhere, there's no movement, no bashing about, and this is what's key. When you're thinking about the layout of your van, think about the items that you have, what you're going to need, what's going to roll around, what rattles, moves, because honestly, when you've got a full day and you're driving around, it drives you crazy. So let's just have a recap. Almost forgot. You're probably thinking Sam, Jay, J-Rock, whatever you want to call me. You forgot to tell me about that big open space you've got in the back of the van. Very simple. There's things that I've got like these bullhorn strimmer here. This is brand new to my collection. What is a 520 IRX that has nowhere to sort of sit, anywhere to go. Also, when I hit the dizzy heights of needing a ride on mower, what will happen one day, I want somewhere where I can just sort of park it in and then not have any sort of shelves in the way or hidden platforms, all the rest of it. So I'll just move them two mowers out the way and get the ramps on this side and just drive the mower straight on. So that's why I've got the open space. Look, thank you very much for joining me on this video. It's not just sort of van and business stuff I do. It's everything from normal lawn care at domestic level and gardening maintenance through a hedge trimming and all the rest of it. So check out my earlier videos. I just want to say a massive thank you once again for all those that helped me get to sort of past a thousand. One person in particular is Premier Loans. He's on YouTube, he's on Instagram. Great guy and he gave me a couple of shout outs that I think really helped me push over that 1000 mark. So thank you very much, go check him out. He's a great lad. Now I am in this beautiful place that you can see, Mauritius, uh, northeast of Scotland. And it's this absolutely wonderful, awesome place where I carry out my business and my lawn care adventures and fanatics, whatever. So here I am providing content, keep subscribed, hit that bell button so you get a notification for when I'm releasing videos and you'll get to see more of this guy giving videos to you with other things. So put in the comments below if you've got any questions at all and I'll do my best to help you out and any questions on any of the things that I've got in the van, just let me know and uh, I'll get back to you. Thanks for watching, subscribe, like, thumbs up, whatever. See you in the next video.